Welcome to the week 10 edition of the Super Bowl 54 Stock Watch. Taylor Smith back again this week as we look at three teams whose Super Bowl 54 odds are trending upward and three teams whose odds may be looking a little more questionable. The three teams on the rise this week are the Ravens, Chargers, and Cowboys. The Ravens picked up may, what may have been the best win of the season on Sunday night against the Patriots, 37-20. to 20. Lamar Jackson was once again unstoppable. His two-way versatility is something that we don't really see very often these days from quarterbacks in the NFL. Uh, and obviously the Patriots had a hard time dealing with it. I'm not in love with the Ravens at plus 1,000 to win it all, but it's worth noting that the AFC is super weak. They are in control of the AFC North as it stands right now. So I think that's kind of a statement win, and we have to take them seriously. Uh, the Chargers, I have pronounced almost dead previously in this in this segment, but uh, they're now four and five after back-to-back -back wins over the Bears and Packers. The win over Green Bay was super impressive on Sunday. Uh, the Packers were pretty big favorites, a lot of public money coming in on them, and the Chargers beat them pretty easily, 26 to 11. Again, the AFC is weak. The Chargers are just a couple games back of the Chiefs now in the division. AFC wildcard is up for grabs as well. The, five, the plus 5,000 odds are pretty favorable. The Chargers are a team we were talking about as a potential sleeper coming into the season. I don't think they're dead yet, so plus 5,000 is a number worth paying attention to. And the Cowboys beat the Giants on Monday night. Not overly impressive, but they took care of business. Uh, the Dallas defense did do a good job of bottling up Saquon Barkley, who racked up just 28 yards on 14 carries, and the Cowboys offense did what it had to do. Uh, plus 1,400 is a decent number on Dallas. The NFC is tougher than the AFC, but they are division leaders. They are 4-0 within the division, and I think it's just a good team overall. The three teams looking a little bit worse this week are the Vikings, Colts, and Patriots. Uh, the Vikings had a great chance to pick up a big win on the road against Kansas City, but let it slip away. Uh, Matt Moore and the Chiefs beat them in the waning moments of the game with Patrick Mahomes on the sideline. It was a big missed chance for the Vikings with the Packers also losing. So the Vikings are still one game back in the NFC North, but I think there's still a decent bet. Plus 2,500 is a very appealing number, in my opinion, for Minnesota to win it all. So I wouldn't write them off yet, but it was a missed opportunity. Uh, the Colts lost a winnable game themselves against the Steelers. Jacoby Brissett went down with an injury. Brian Hoyer played pretty well in his place. Uh, Adam Vinatieri missed what would have been a game-winning game field goal in the last seconds, but the Colts are now looking up at the Texans in the AFC South. I don't think that's good for them. Uh, they could still nab a wild card potentially, but I'm just not loving the Colts at plus 4,000. I think they're kind of lucky to be here in the first place, so I would pass on them at that number. And the Patriots, for the first time, are coming off a loss. The Ravens, the Ravens made them look bad, but it's just one game. I don't think losing at Baltimore is something overly uh, bad for the Patriots necessarily. That snapped a 13-game winning streak uh, dating back to last season. The problem with jumping off New England right now is that plus 275 to win it all might still be the most favorable number we get on them for the entire season. So while it wasn't a good game for them, I think it's more of a blip on the radar than anything else. Uh, that'll do it for the week 10 edition of the Super Bowl 54 stock watch. Subscribe to the Odds on Favorites YouTube channel uh, for more from gamblingsites.org and check back next week for the week 11 edition of the stock watch. <laughs>